Welcome back, everybody. Looking at our current conditions, we got 30 degrees in San Angelo. Winds have picked up a little bit from the southwest at about 8 miles an hour and around the rest of the region here. We are starting to level out, be a little bit closer to temperatures with everyone. 20s and 30s across the board as we get through the early morning hours here. But not too much going on for precipitation. We do have clouds making their way from Mexico into our area. So we will have that mixture of clouds coming through as we go through the rest of our morning into the afternoon hours. Winds will mostly be from the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour, and highs are expected to be in the 70s today. So even though it's the first day of winter, it's not going to feel like that. We're actually going to be about 15 degrees above average, and it's going to be the shortest day of the year. So we are expecting just over 11 hours of daylight as we go through our Monday, and as we continue through the rest of the week, we're obviously going to increase a little bit more. Heading up to Chicago, though, where Kristen's on vacation at this time, they're looking at 10 hours and 16 minutes minutes of daylight and then heading up into my hometown of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. We've got nine hours and 49 minutes of total daylight for the day and then up in Anchorage, Alaska here, a little bit less, six hours, 27 minutes. But as I said, today is the shortest day, so we're going to continue to increase the amount of daylight for today. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds as we go through today. Tomorrow morning starting off more on the sunny side, but then clouds coming through in the afternoon and then we're going to see some very spotty showers, especially in the south and the eastern edge of the Concha Valley as we head into early Wednesday morning. 42 tonight for a low with decreasing clouds and then tomorrow we're expecting a high 72 degrees. It's going to be a bit breezy though ahead of a cold front making its way into the area by Wednesday. Gust up to 35 can be expected. The rest of our 7 day forecast isn't looking too bad after Wednesday. We just got to get through the middle of the week with 53 for a low or for a high and then as we continue getting through Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Kwanzaa and Boxing Day on Saturday, we will get temperatures moving Moving back into the 60s and even the low 70s as we head into next Sunday.